The Mixed Mornings and More podcast with Steph and Sean. Now available daily. Good morning, world. Good morning and happy Wednesday. It's May 25th, the year is 2022. It's 531 in the morning. And it's Conscious Kindness Day. Oh, yeah. This is all part of United Way. They've been kind of doing this for, I want to say, around since 2018. And I guess it started up in Winnipeg with the United Way over there. And then they kind of adopted it, adapted it in uh, a way that they could up here in Fort McMurray to, to suit everyone up here as well. Yeah, and it's basically just today to do some random acts of kindness, to be conscious of being kind. Do you have any ideas in your head of things that you could do, Sean? Yeah, I, I think first off, I'm going to be nice to all the Leaf fans in my <laughs> life. Uh, usually around this time of year, playoffs, hockey, I can get a little, I can get a little crusty. We're like crusty to each other back and forth, but I'll be nice to them today. Wow. Okay. I feel like that's going to be hard for you, but I, <laughs> I commend you on the challenge. What about you? Um, I always find one of the easiest ways to be kind to somebody, um, from where you're sitting is just to write some good reviews online. Mm, like, yeah. you're like, man, you know what? I had some great chicken at this place i'm going to tell people about it i think that just really (laughs) makes somebody's day it's a a way to spread some kindness and it's so easy to write a bad review but oh yeah review is is fewer and farther between oh what if i leave a sticky note in the men's bathroom saying like you look great today do you think men deserve those compliments as well i do but i don't know if they should leave it it. (laughs) should i put it inside the stall door be like it's not that stinky it's a, it's a good poo. Oh, <laughs> no, that's just weird. Yeah, we got no. off tracks there. <laughs> another hockey game, another battle of Alberta last night, Steph, where there's screams and cheers going off in Gregoire like there was at uh, the, the camp site that you were at on the weekend. <laughs> I did see some people posting in Gregoire Happenings apologizing for their husband and son <laughs> being so loud. So, yes, apparently there was, but I didn't actually hear it in real life. I just saw the Facebook post of like, hey, it's just us. We're just really happy. All right. Yeah, it it was an incredible game. And if you walk by just like the sidewalk out here, maybe by the brew house or whatever, by judging by the amount of darts that are on the sidewalk (laughs) right now, a lot of stressed out people (laughs) as well. There are just like butts everywhere. Whoever has to clean that up, God bless your soul. I really thought you were going to say there was barf everywhere. Oh, no. Thank goodness. Sounds so much better. Thank goodness. Not a lot of barf. A lot of butts. Uh, Not human butts, but like cigarette butts. (laughs) Darts. All right. All right. Uh, The Oilers won 5-3. They went up 3-0 in the game, and it looked like they kind of put it in the bag. They scored three early in the the first period, and then Calgary came back in the second, made it a game, and then they tied it up uh, 3-3 with just a bizarre goal from their own end. They shot it like 200 feet away, and classic Mike Smith, who is the Oilers goalie, did not see the puck and let it in. It's one of the, like the biggest bluffs of this entire playoff so far. <laughs> and then all of Oilers Nation was just crumbling. They're like, that's it. We're out of the playoffs. Mike Smith blew it again. But then uh, but then this guy named Ryan Nugent Hopkins, who's been with the, he's the longest serving Oilers, been with them for like 11 years. Whoa! Uh, he he scored in the last couple minutes to to put them ahead, and and uh, now they're up three one in the series. If they win one more game, so they go to Calgary tomorrow, and if they win one more game, they're on to the Western Conference Finals, which means there's only four teams left. And do you think they're going to do it, Sean? I do. I I think Calgary. They're in the Calgary goalie's head, like Markstrom. Oh. He's got the yips. He's got something going on, and he's just not confident. Uh, he was he he started out just really crappy, but then he just he got a little confident as the game went on, but uh, I think they got him figured out. So I think we're going to see the Goilers in the Western Conference Finals. All right. Place your bets from the sports expert, Woo. Sean Kreitz himself. Woo, woo, woo. Found a corner of the internet last night that I didn't know existed. Uh-oh. Good or bad? Pretty good. I'm kind of stoked about it. I feel okay. like I found a niche that I like. All right. It's nothing <laughs> like the quicksand fetish or anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. We're safe here. Um, <laughs> this was, I posted a picture of my uh, Honda Element, which I seem to be like very obsessed with these days. Yeah. But it's just a really good adventure vehicle, and I finally get to take it on adventures because it's warm enough to go camping. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I posted this picture of me with my car and this like giant kayak on top and all my camping gear. And I just hashtagged Honda Element and uh, didn't think anything of it. And it got so many likes from people I don't follow whose names are like, O oh, five Honda Element. Oh yeah, this is like this is like you in your camper. You're obsessed with that. This is the Element people making Instagram accounts for their cars. Exactly, exactly. And 
Did you know that there's actually like a Honda Element Festival? Wow, I I didn't, but it doesn't surprise me. Yeah, South Carolina, they all get together, <laughs> they all line up and show all the mods they've done oh to these vehicles. Goodness. They have drone footage of them all driving in a row. The hilarious thing is, like, they stop making these cars that look like toasters are not like aesthetically yeah. pleasing in my mind. Um, back in 2011, yeah, and so. They're like kind of becoming this like relic, it feels like, for this niche yeah. group of people. Like, it's not like it's like a Supra or like a beautiful Subaru or something that, like, you know, everybody wants, but it seems like the people who like Honda Elements like Honda Elements. Yeah, they're different and, and there's just a market for them. And so I can, I totally understand. They want to restore them and want to keep like the legacy alive with it all. Are you going to attend said festival of elements? I don't think I'll attend said festival, but I am now considering making a. Another Instagram account for Sage Mile. Wow. What do you think? Go for it. I think you could kind of kick off of something here. Thank you. Thank you. Influencer, (laughs) the element? Yes. What do you think? Absolutely. (laughs) I got an email yesterday from one of the software companies that we use that said, just checking in. How was your conversation with Sean? Oh, ew. Me? (laughs) What are you trying to dig into? Yeah. What you like? Uh, But the Sean was spelled seen. Oh. Yeah. So not, or were they referring to me? They were not referring to you. Oh. Um, they had a bio included with it. It was very what? strange. Uh, ready for the bio? Sure. I'm a new dad who plays drums in a competitive pipe band. I've competed in the World Pipe Band Championships in Scotland 14 times. What, what is this email about? I'm so confused. Was it about the radio show and us? No, I don't know what it was about. <laughs> it was like a software thing that we used with the station. It said that I had a conversation with Scene. I did not have a conversation with Scene because if I did, I would have asked him about playing pipe bands in Scotland. Weird. Absolutely. So how did you, re- did you respond or did you just go, you know what, delete, I don't even want to go down this road. I delete because I Good. feel like this is probably another scammer, someone trying yeah. to slide into the DMs, but... Yeah email style like just like yeah. get out of here she- scene you are <laughs> uh inferior to sean spelled with s-h-a-w-n just to make you happy and Great. so we're just not going to chat with each other absolutely and you pass it's it's a conscious kindness day as well so thank you for shutting down the scenes and being nice to the sean's because that's kind it doesn't see it doesn't matter if you're mean to the scenes okay <laughs> i got you sean <laughs> that's an exception <laughs> SPCA Pet of the Weekday has arrived! Yay! All thanks to Pet Value Eagle Ridge in downtown. Thank you so much. We have Misty joining us with us, with us as well. And who's the dog we have, Misty, here? So this is a Callie. She is a one-year-old Shepherd Cross. She is hilarious. She just loves hugging. I don't know. The first moment she saw me this morning, she's like, hello. I'm oh. like, that is a lot of dog coming at me first thing, <laughs> but it was great. She's having so much fun here. Um, she's got a lot of energy, so if you're looking for a buddy uh, to go out, take a walk, <laughs> run around even, dog park it up. She's your girl. Uh, she's perfect. Yeah, I really like her. Um, I like that she's a huggy kind of dog. Also that she is not that big. She's a shepherd cross, but she isn't huge. So you can kind of still hold on to her and hug her and not uh, not use her as a blanket, really. How would you describe the color? It's like a light brown, kind of whitish grayish all mixed in? Or what would you say? I would... Just say she's brown. Yeah, light, light brown. <laughs> brown kind of with the black ears. Yeah. Oh, man, I was going to call her blonde. Blonde? <laughs> like, well, she loves you, Steph. She right, came right to your lap. Like, she knew you her whole life. So, yeah. I mean, one day we'll get you with the dog. So yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'd say she's warming up to the men a little bit. She'll take some loving. Uh, she definitely favors the females. I'm trying for pets all morning here. <laughs> well, the debate on the color, you can absolutely check it out on our Facebook Live or also head up to the SPCA and meet a Cali. What else is happening with you? guys so winky day is coming up june 5th as you guys can see i have the beautiful yes. sixth annual winky day shirt it's a nice for a screen uh we have them in stock up there with uh the, some of the proceeds coming to the cause for pause fund from team winky so you it, they have kids shirts so if you got a little one you want them to rip a cool <laughs> dog on their back uh you can come up there and grab that awesome you can find more information whoa there a cali wants you to know she is here she's excited she's, she's like where's my home 
<laughs> Where's my family? I actually put her in one of these t-shirts yesterday. <laughs> she loved it. So you can also check that up on our Facebook page if you want a good laugh. There's something about a dog in a t-shirt. I yeah. mean. <laughs> so Always fun. Good. So good. Well, big thanks to you guys for bringing up a dog to us this week. Always our favorite day of the week. And big thanks to Pet Value Downtown and Eagle Ridge as well. If you need more information, head on over to fmsbca.ca to find stuff about Winky Day and about a Cali. Had a new way of someone trying to scam me on the Instagram yesterday, Steph. Ooh, a new way. Not mm-hmm. just like a, hey, come over to our other account and be a promoter. Yeah, it wasn't just like, hey, you want to you wanna invest in some crypto? <laughs> uh, anything <laughs> like that. Um, it was it was an acquaintance from high school who I kind of know, know of, essentially. Okay. okay? And we didn't follow each other. She has a private Instagram. She follows me and then uh, messages me. And she says, hello, and then emoji waving uh, yeah. emoji. I saw you on my friend's suggestion list. Please don't be upset with it. I really need help from you. And then kind of like the the sad eyes and the and the praying oh, hands. Oh. And I was just like, okay, you would never say that. Yeah, So yeah. right off the bat, I'm just like, oh, okay, she got hacked kind of thing. But I, I went along with it. I was like, yeah, what do you need help with? I'm contesting for an ambassadorship spot at an online influencer program. I need you to vote for me now, please. It won't cost you anything or waste your time. Oh, my God. I was like, that is the most scammy sentence I have ever read. I'm contesting for? Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. And so I started playing along more. I was like, what's your company? What's your ambassadorship for? And they're just like, oh, it's just for my company. I'm like, yeah, what is your company? And then just and then they just sent me the link to click on oh, so they could probably hack, hack into yours the, too into my stuff as well i was like ah oh, you know what i was like you should send me a video telling me why i should vote for you and then <laughs> i'll click on the link and then they they did crafting lying emojis to me they had the audacity to laugh at me oh my gosh but are they are you the one laughing though because you're like i did not click your link yeah well then i gave him the detective emoji right back <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then I said, you should call into my morning radio show so you can reach a wider audience. And then they blocked me. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, come on. I know. On the case, though. Yes. Can't scam me. Magnifying glass up, Sean. <laughs> Want more of today's show? Download the Mixed Mornings and More podcast. Now available every weekday.